Here's how to enter coordinates into Google Maps. Now, if you just have specific coordinates of a location and you want to find it on Google Maps, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, if I open up this website, it's really helpful to explain that there are three different types or systems that you can get latitude and longitude coordinates. Now on here, it shows basically Billings, Montana, and in the three different versions. The first one is displayed as degrees, minutes, seconds, or DMS. What I can do is I can copy this. Let's copy that and hit copy. And let's go over to Google Maps and we'll just paste this in and hit search. And you can see it takes us directly to Billings, Montana. Now let's do the other ones as well. Let's go back here and I'm going to do this one, dis, uh, decimals and minutes. I can hit copy. Let's go back into Google Maps. We will search for this as well. Hit search and you can see it takes me to the exact same spot. Now let's go back here and finally we'll do decimals degrees and I will copy that as well because I want to use that and show you that this works as well if it would actually copy those numbers. For some reason, it's not copying those numbers. There we go. Now copy them and we'll go into Google Maps and we will do this as well and hit paste and go. So you can see all three of those systems takes me to the exact same place. So the nice thing is that Google recognizes all three different types of coordinates for latitude and longitude. Now on here, you can see decimal degrees, decimal minutes, degrees, minutes, seconds. However, if you go into Google Maps, you'll see that they have a preferred. So let's go into Google Maps here. And you can see at the very bottom here is 41.781111. And this other one, negative 108. 503. So you can see if you coordinate this with it, they use decimal degrees as their preferred system in Google Maps. So if you get any kind of latitude and longitude coordinates, it will automatically be in decimal degrees. However, it can always read any of the other coordinates as well. Hope this helps. Do you have any questions on that? Leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.